Okay, so this is gonna be a small review um, over like how your guys' React router stuff and your controller and your routes page are interacting with. Um, uh, some of this might not be exactly prepped well. Um, so if I want to debug, you're gonna see me debug as well. And also some like get commit changes handling because I had at least um, edit some files somewhere um, on the GitHub. And so I'm gonna do a get commit, get add first to add the changes that I've made. And then I get commit. And um, more pages. Um, get pull origin masters, pull down the changes that Elise made. Um, you can see here that there were some conflicts. So we're just gonna go here, go to the source control, and then the conflicts that are here are here. Um, so um, you're gonna see these, these messages if you're, if two of you guys more are working on the same file and then if you guys edited around the same area, you guys should see like a couple of these. So I see at least um, change the serial number to um, three instead of eight, which my database currently is seven to eight. So I wanna probably keep mine. Um, other changes that she made is she changed the, set uh, her state so that it's show movies and set show movies, which um, she, uh, which um, she never updated the stuff down below to be show movies and it's still movies. So I'm gonna keep my changes instead of accepting hers. So that would be um, current changes is what I want. So I'll hit I can accept current changes. Um, what is different here? So um, the map is M. Um, so currently that's, this one is more correct. I kind of want my movie duration though. So I'm gonna set both changes and I don't want Elise's message that you put right there. So I'm gonna remove that, um, change this to an M and then change spot one to an M and I can get rid of this change. Save that. And then that would be how you could handle um, changes that someone made to your file. Um, if you wanted to see what other changes that they did, um, you can go to like their commit. Um, if it shows me. Um, let's see, those are mine. I don't know where we should add. Should show up there. Um, but stay change. Okay. I don't know why it's not showing the changes there, at least. Well, okay, wait. I guess I want to show it unless it was a different branch. Um, but so it's I've staged my change and I'm gonna commit that. So get add dot get commit. Um, merge with master with Lisa's code. Oh, okay. Um, gonna look at this. So it seemed like at least only did just mess with the movies page, and she didn't mess with other pages. And you can see that when you're pulling down from master. And then I'm gonna push my changes up to master. Sorry, I thought we were only messing with that page. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to like surprise me with changes. Um, <laughs> Should have made more changes. And then, so now this is all pushed up to master. There's her change. Um, oh, she did mess with the control. Oh, um, that was the change that we both kind of found and I don't, and I'm just gonna quickly just check my controller. Movies controller. Um, so check my ends because the change was like an actual end. So end, end, if else, end, death end, if else, end, death end, death end. Yep. So all my ends are correct there. Close that out. Okay. 
Um, so when I was setting this up, um, you guys can watch the video if you guys want, but otherwise I, um, I would just briefly explain what we're doing. Um, we're doing a theater app with movies. So our two models is theaters and movies. Theaters have a location and a name and movies have a name and a duration. Um, I'm gonna set this up right now so that it's using React Router. So I gotta change this to um, Browser Router. Um, really quickly, I'm gonna import Browser Router. I hope. Um, gotta make sure I'm spelling stuff correctly. Browser Router from React Router DOM. Uh, that capitalized and then was about her uh, get rid of this one as well so this is also buzz about her so now this is the buzz about her and then um i was uh just rendering my pages here um just so i have them be visible to me when i was um testing so i'm gonna get rid of those real quick um so i would our app is now should just be like fragments here. And then I do have a nav bar supposedly, but I don't think it, I'm not sure how it looks. <laughs> but, um, nav bar. Stop closing. This um, formatting it this way has a nav bar at the very top of our app and then we would do our wow router. No, it is wow. And then, and here would be our wow. Uh, if I mess this up, sorry. Um, we were studying React Router 5 during um, our cohort because it's React Router 6 is new. So then path is equal to, and then um, slash. And then this is going to be when doing our element. Um, and then the component that we want is just our home. Um, let me get that slash there. And I'm missing that last character now. So I'm going to quickly start up my server just to make sure everything is working still. It was P2001. And then bar. Sorry. If you guys have any questions as I'm doing this, feel free to ask. So, um, go back to my movie stage because it's saying line 32. Oh, I didn't notice this. Um, so that's the thing with merging. Uh, Styles, you might not see all the changes that someone made unless you're in the same line of code where you have conflicts. So it's a good practice just like run your server, make sure everything is fine as you're doing it. So clearly, I did not notice that at least it actually used show movies down the line. So and click. Um, I don't think that, uh, well, oh no. Okay, so she made a, wait, okay. Wait. Yeah, I, I oh. had state up there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I didn't notice it was a new state. I thought you were just messing with my show, <laughs> uh, with my state. Yeah, I, it's weird because yeah. the merge conflict didn't show the new lines down on like yeah. 33 and 34. Well, oh. um, I'm guessing it's because I didn't directly mess with the code here. Mm -hmm. So then it didn't register that like that over here got changed. Because when you're merging the code, it looks at your file, looks at the master file that you're pulling in, and it assumes that master is the files that you want. And so the changes that you make on your end is the current changes. And so if you want to accept the master file, it would be the incoming. And so you just if you're if the if you didn't affect anything that is on master like on those lines specifically, it won't show up as a merge conflict in your end. But like if at least had merged my code 
with hers that she pulled down, it would she would see different conflicts. So I'm gonna assume this was false. Um, if you wanted to check um, previous conflicts, you can always go back to your source control and then go back to their file and then you can like see, I need to move the same thing. Uh, so you can see what their files was like before you merged. So um, this was her file, um, show movies. Okay, so if I add that, it should make the stuff that Elise has work. And okay, so this is currently the thing. My nav bar is kind of bad, <laughs> but it's working. Um, okay, so back to our app.js. So this is where our nav bar, um, if we go to our nav bar. So these links, these links are going to look at app.js, and these are the ones that it's going to be looking at. So currently, we don't have a theater or a movies well on this page. So when clicking on those, it doesn't exactly know what to render. So if I do a option shift down and make duplicates of those and set this to theater, uh, which is how I have it in the nav bar, gotta wait for the zoom to disappear, or well, I can just. I'm gonna move that down. <laughs> so um, the links on your navbar should match the link on the app.js because this is what the link is sending it to. So I gotta make that full and theater. Other way, the more technical correct way is your app.js routes are the set routes and your navbar should be following those. But because I'm either I'm gonna be changing one to the other, I'm gonna change it on the app.js because I haven't made these routes yet. So this is going to be movies. And then at the moment, they should all under the home component. Um, but if I change this to the um, theaters, it should start rendering theaters when they click here, which it is not. Am I spelling theaters, theaters, theaters? Theaters, theaters not setting to like a word to me anymore. Um, page, theaters, theaters. They all look like. I'm gonna quickly change this to movies. See if that one works. FR, movies, theaters, theaters, yep. Um, movies works. Theater is not working. Am I rendering my theaters? Um, when their theaters should be rendering, is it grabbing theater data though? Um, and then we can not control P, uh, inspect uh, console. So uh, click, click, refresh. Router is fine if we used. Um, that shouldn't be messing with it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. Um, click on theaters, um, internal server over. So gotta check on my server. Oh, I see my issue. I typed 30,000 in one instead of 3,000 in one. So that should resolve that. So now. Fresh. Yep. So now we have our theaters and our movies. Um, gonna go back. So these paths is generally the URL and how it's linking. Um, you also have your routes page for your paths or different paths. And so like these are going from your routes to your like it's taking the route that you use when you're doing an at source call. If I can find the correct page, close. <laughs> so it's taking this route. These routes are the routes for, from your routes.ib and are different routes completely. Um, like you can, like, if you, so like these have default methods in a sense. So like, if you just go, I'm um, gonna swipe this way. Um, 
open a new tab, 3001 localhost. These are the routes that you should be sending it in the at skills calls to get the specific data sets that you want. So like if I wanted to like get movies, I would be using this path instead of like trying to match the paths on the app.js. Um, you can also kind of make like custom paths here. So like if I wanted to like do like um, a get um, to sorry, it's not like since I've done these. Um, a get to uh, slash API slash all movies. And then this is gonna be um, give me one second. You <laughs> gotta imagine remember custom paths. Come on. Don't think this is doing. Oh, two and then colon. Um, and then if you send it to a controller, so we're gonna do an all movies. So like uh, it should be going to our movies controller and then hashtag um, all movies. And then we can add a custom method in our uh, movies controller real quick. So like if we just go there, so these, these are generally the ones that you would be using, but you can also make your own. So like, if you want to like do a defined all movies and then, and, if I can type, um, and then do a render JSON. And then, so we can do all movies instead of currently, if you strike this way, um, currently, um, a movies page, if I can, localhost 3000. This is just rendering movies from just, if I can go, movies right there. Um, it's just rendering movies from eight that's currently hard coded. Um, I'll change that in a bit. But if you wanted to like have a movies page that did all movies, you would, you would, could do like movies to all. And then this command should pull up all of the information for the movies. And then over here, we're doing, we'll be doing at source call to um, this file, which I don't think I need the API there. Well, having the, I just, okay, if I have the API there, I just got to call directly to the API. Otherwise, oh, I don't think I need that. Otherwise, I could just have it be all uh, movies. And then I, think, yeah, I'm pretty sure this should work. Um, let's just call to API, get rid of the API because I got rid of it on the box and just do all movies here. Um, double check spelling, spelling. So that should just be doing an SEO call to that specific one, which should be showing up all movies. Um, gonna quickly go back to the app.js and change this to all movies. Um, at seals, um, did I forget to import at seals on this file? No, wait. All movie line 23. Fine, hit. Sorry. Um, seals. This is movies. Oh. Isn't it on all movie? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Um, import. I am missing at COS here. At COS. Yeah. Yes. Uh -huh. Inspect real quick. Cause, um, oh, I didn't, I don't have a use effect here. Um, use effect. That. And then don't forget the dependency. If you leave this, if you leave this out, it will cause an infinite render. Um, you can also stick in an item here that you, if you want, if you always want the data to be rendered with a change state. 
Um, goes back here. So now, gotta move back the Zoom stuff. Look a host. All movies not found. Request for four. Okay, so there. So then, this isn't working. Why is this not working? Um, because it should be get question. Uh, all movies, and then the two. Do I need the account? I, I guess I'll quickly try that just to make sure whether or not it is a thing. Um, refresh. Yeah, so I probably don't need the API there. I don't have it here. Um, So just copy that spelling, go back to my controller here, paste that. So those are the same spelling, doesn't seem to be the issue. Did you try a slash before all movies? No, but like on this page or over here? Because there's a the slash. Way. On the routes. Uh, I just added it in, refresh the page. Yep, it's still pointing to 3,000. Why is that? Okay, so a way that I debug if it's giving me a 404 is I use command K to clear up the terminal, refresh the page, this resets this, get movies, Loading error and initialize constant release control. Um, really quickly, gonna refresh my routes to make sure it shows up here. So, all movies path, all movies format, get movies, all movies. Oh, wait, I think I need the slash API here though. Maybe? That sh shouldn't be it. Okay, so double check, get. So that's matching those now, but yeah, it still won't give me all my movies. Um, cause, okay, that's a different error. Gotta move the zoom window back up. So, get active record, cannot find zero without an ID. So, back, back here. I shouldn't need an ID though. Cause if I, and tilde, control tilde, but just rails C and I do my movie stall. It should be pulling this data. Oh, um, I think I need to accept here. Or, right? Um, at least it's accept, right? Or, what is the other not word? <laughs> Wait, what word are you looking for? Um, the before action on set theater is preventing the controller from doing the um, all movies because it wants the theater ID. But I know I know there's a way that you can kind of go before action, but not for this one. But I don't remember. Oh, instead of saying only and listing everything. Yeah. Is it just a set? Yeah. Let's see if you can. Square bracket. Um, 
I have that no one's not except um all movies. There we go. So that is working. Um yeah, so we you can also append methods to these like the order is one that you can do. And then I believe you just do ID and then it should order it by ID, but I gotta, I gotta change the ID of them somehow. But I don't have an edit page yet. Um, movie dot first ID. No, what? <laughs> okay. Um, fastest way would be just make a new page, but I don't want to. Um, movie, secret to movie. If I type in movie. Show us that up. Mm. Okay. Movie. Dot update. No. Taking. So. ID. Five. But take that. Again. So. Updated duplicate key. How does movie key four is this? I, oh, wait, oh, yeah, okay, so <laughs> I know why is this, because I do have a movie four, uh, that should be five. And then if I do movies again, I have a movie five, no movie two, um, no movie one. So if I go back here, refresh this, it's currently ordered like that. I swear this order should order it by ID now, though. No. I'm missing the end. Does it have to be ordered by? Oh, wait. No, that makes sense. I got to. It is ordering it by the ID because that is currently five. Um, but if I change this back to movie one and then go back here, go back to movies. And it's just order because order by book it. It's ordering by the ID instead of the updated. Because if I remove this order here, you would see that um, movie Spider Man 1 moves to the bottom because it's not being ordered by the ID. So if you wanted to have ordering, you just do order here and then the key that you want to order it by. And this is like not SQL, but it well, if you wanted to do more complex ordering later on, you, you guys will learn SQL, and then you can, can get the data back in however order you kind of want. And so if I just do order by ID, it now orders it by ID instead of with the time that it was updated at last. Um, I've never realized how far this on the Zoom. Um, stuff is. Um, so yeah. Um, so I just so we go over kind of what I just went over. So the routes over here is pointing to the controller. The controller is the inf is where your database interaction happens with, and your all movies here. Um, is doing an access call to the routes or the ID to get information from the controller to send back to this page. Um, the apps.js, these URLs here is the URL that you will see up here and is where you would be redirecting to if you're doing links. Uh, so, yeah. Do that and ID and slash um, movies. Then 
that this to be movies, uh, just movies. And then this is the path that I would take to get to movies um, to this file um, here. Instead of the movie.all for each theater, I'm going to change that. Um, so it's not high coded as A. Um, I'm going to keep the hard code as a real quick. Just did not mean to get rid of everything. <laughs> um, so if I go, I guess, click on theaters, theater um, A, and then well, I guess seven doesn't matter. Um, movies. It now shows the page that we had for release, which is just Spider Man 2. Uh, this isn't showing the correct amount of movies because. This is currently hard code is as a um if you do a console.log. If you add props here, you do a console.log props to see if there's any props that will spawn. Oh uh spelling up console.log. Sometimes the console.log, so these aren't getting props. Um Later on, you guys will be using something that will pass props down with like history and stuff, but you guys aren't currently doing that. So um, I believe it was const params is equal to use params. And then okay, uh, console.log. Plans. I don't know why that's showing up as orange. So use plans like oh uh, that that is what was showing up as orange. So this poems is getting the information from this URL and it's we're directing it here. Um, this ID format is shown here. Um, and it's usually in the same casing as these. So like if it was like, um, I think, um, if the one of these capitalized, it should show up as capitalized here as well, but currently it's just saying ID. So um, if I change this to plans, the ID, and we'll refresh this page. We should see two movies. If we went to movie eight, it should now, okay, I hit control S. It should now show one. Yeah. Um, I guess, did you guys have any questions or did you guys want me to run through anything? No, no questions. Um, I guess I'll also take this into like um, so um things that um I found out earlier while I was searching about it. Um you can't pass pops when you're sending people through a link. Like you can send states over, but you can't send them the properties of the data. So if you ever wanted to render like a show page, you would need to do um, an SEO skit on that page with the ID and stuff, um, pulling the information from somewhere. Um, best way I, I would say would be using the use params at the moment. You guys, when you guys use later stuff, you guys can, there are pops will actually not be empty and you guys will have um, like I use location, use, and use other stuff, but it doesn't show up in this at the moment. And I don't know, I don't remember what changes we did to have those at the moment. But 
does this review kind of help you guys um, know kind of like how your routes, your controllers, and your app.js is separated? Um, one thing you guys should do often is skip committing. Um, make sure you're in the overall folder. If you get commit in one of the subfolders, you are only committing to changes that you made in that subfolder. So like if I do like, um, so I've made changes in both my main folder, like the overall folder, because it's an app as well as in client. So if I see the end to client and I do a get add dot, it will add, only add the changes that I've made within the client. You can see it just by like the controller and the routes are not in the commit, in the stage changes. So if you wanted to, I guess, portion off what you're um, uploading up, um, you guys can go into the stuff folder and just do a git add there and do like a git commit. This is, um, Client stuff only. And then if you go back here, you can, can see that like anything that wasn't in the client is not committed. And then if I CD back out, so CD back into a view and I do a git commit, git add first, git commit dash m, everything else. Um, you guys will see that everything else got committed now. Um, and then there's two different commits for that. Um, I'm going to push this up to um, master real quick, origin master. And it's pushed up. At um, I'm out of stuff, and if you guys have questions. No? Okay. Alice, do you have any questions? I'm going to put Alice on the spot. Do I have questions? <laughs> yes, do you have questions? Um, I do not. Okay. Stop sharing. 